Today, I'm going to show you how to use Postman's mock servers with agent mode to spin up real, functional API prototypes that your entire team can work with immediately. The thing about waiting for backend APIs is that it creates this bottleneck where front-end teams are regularly getting blocked. They can't start building or validating their designs because their work is dependent on the backend being in a usable state. So we're going to create mock servers using agent mode to eliminate that wait. Starting from scratch in a blank workspace, I'm going to open agent mode in Postman and ask, create an appointment scheduling API with CRUD endpoints, plus authentication, and filtering by provider or date. Setting this up manually by myself is a substantial project. Realistically, that's a couple of focused days to hit the happy path with the basic functions, and closer to a week if I want to add validation, meaningful test cases, and things like that. So as soon as it's done thinking, I'll have a complete collection structure with all the rest endpoints, post for creating appointments, get for listing or retrieving them, put for rescheduling, and delete for cancellations. It's adding the proper HTTP methods and request bodies and keeping everything organized. Now that my API is defined, I'll have agent mode spin up the mock server. It automatically assigns mock URLs and makes it easy to save them as variables. Since this mock API is for a healthcare clinic, it's gonna have some domain specific requirements. So when I have it generate example responses, I'm gonna ask agent mode to help me simulate some safeguards for HIPAA compliance. It's important to note that agent mode is not a compliance expert, but it'll get me on the right track with things like masking patient details. This is gonna take some time since it's adding multiple example responses for all of the requests that were just created. It regenerates all the error examples, so 400 for invalid requests, 401 for missing auth, 404 not found. So we still have all the helpful status codes, but no private health information, which is critical for healthcare. The errors are specific enough that the front end team still knows how to handle them, but they're general enough to not identify anyone. The next thing we need to do to make the prototype feel more realistic is to show different scenarios that the API needs to handle. We want to demonstrate how the API responds to different situations. So let's do this with mock server examples. By the way, before we get this prototype ready for production, if you're enjoying this tutorial, don't forget to like this video so we know to create more content like this.